Hi everyone, it's me again and we are now on to question number 17. This time I am going again to present in this video question number 17 and question number 18 of the grade 10 mathematics pass exam papers year 2010. So let's now proceed to question number uh, 17 and as well as question number 18. So we've done that uh, question number 16. So let's now have question number 17. So what is the question number 17? Okay. Question number 17 is on to the topic uh, indices. Now take note, uh, grade 10 students, this topic indices will always come out in your national examination. So you say, if I were you, you better uh, uh, master the uh, rules of indices so that uh, when you encounter it in the national exam, you will be able to answer the question, just like this one. Okay, so question number 17 is, uh, which of the following is equal to P, okay, P to the power of negative 4? Which of the following is equal to P to the power of negative 4? A, B, C, D, E. Now, this kind of question is just straightforward. Does not require calculation. All you need to do is to remember the rules. When you are going to uh, uh, have an index uh, expression wherein the power is negative, we usually bring the negative power into positive by applying the rules. Okay? So, if this one is p to the power of negative 4, then we uh, get the reciprocal of this to become a, a positive 4. So, let me rewrite it here. The given expression in index form is p to the power of negative 4. If you are going to express this one in uh, index form, where in the power or the index is positive 4, Take note that this one is understood to have a denominator of 1. So you just get the reciprocal of that. And that means uh, that you have to re uh, invert it or uh, invert this one. You bring this one up and then you bring this one down. So that means this will become 1 over p to the power of positive 4. Okay. If, for example, on the other hand, the... Uh, Power, uh, the given index expression, uh, the power uh, a, or index is negative in the denominator. To uh, make it positive, you can bring that one up to the numerator to make the index positive. However, in this given, our p to the power of negative 4 is in the numerator. So to make this expression, index expression, into positive, all you need to do is bring it down to the denominator and thus the power becomes positive. That is one of the rules of indices. So therefore, from that working out there, you will notice that our answer would be just simply which one gives us a positive power of the index 4. Uh, this letter C is the correct answer. Uh, 1 over P to the power of 4. And if you are given a, uh, a complex expression in index form, meaning that when the expression already uh, has a power or an in index or indices, that mean that's, that's you will still you can still apply or you will always use these rules to apply in order for you to simplify the given initial expression. Okay, I hope that's really clear to you now. But this given here, number seventeen, is just very easy. It's like a bonus bonus question and later you will be given a, a very complex expression and okay, that's all for this uh, question number 17 let's now proceed to question number 18 okay. question number 18 is this is the given let me now erase this and question number 18 we have question number 18 now, the question number 18 is on the topic uh, statistics, okay? This is uh, statistics and uh, this, uh, it is uh, reading the, the, the graph. Okay, this graph is a histogram. It is a histogram, 
and the graph below shows the number of videos rented by different families in a week now the technique when you are reading or interpreting a graph is to identify the variables along the y-axis and the variables along the x-axis as well as be very good at reading the uh, given uh, uh, values in the of the scale for the y-axis and the scale for the x-axis that is the very important one uh, probably I will advise you to make sure to have a ruler so that you will be able to read uh, carefully uh, the given values okay so along the y-axis is uh, the variable families and then along the x-axis is the videos rented now the reason why I asked you to be very good at knowing the variables on the axis is this will be the these are the variables that will lead you to uh, answer the question oftentimes the question when it comes to graph is based on or more on the given uh, variables of the given uh, graph this is a histogram what is the question uh, from this uh, graph here question is how many families rented okay how many families so the families is the it's along the y-axis so how many families how many families rented four or more videos so along the y uh, along the x-axis videos rented four or more so this one is four and more is going to the right side so four or more so four okay and then or more so that means that from starting with four videos and and then up to more video um, more than four uh, videos rented that is how you are going to read it but of course you are not going to do like this in your uh, question paper uh, because it's not allowed so you make sure that you are using a pencil and now uh, in order for you to find because the question is families so the answer would be coming from here so how many how many uh, families rented four videos so you are going to take the reading from here okay you get the reading that's the reading there and the correct answer here is eight okay that's eight over there and then uh, is it eight no i don't think it's eight uh here is okay it's here it's in the middle sorry guys it's in the middle it's between six and eight so it's actually seven this is seven and then uh next one how many families rented five videos that's why it's very important to have the ruler and then you put the ruler like this so you can really read it carefully so four videos families seven families rented four videos and then five videos how many families okay so you are going to check it here oh i think it's 12 so the correct answer here is 12 so that's 12 okay and then next one six videos how many families okay it looks like this six that's six and then uh, seven videos how many families okay so it's the same as seven okay is it seven or eight no it's eight okay that's eight this one is along the eight okay that's eight and then the last one how many families rented eight uh, videos so that's what we have here eight videos and this one is in the middle of zero and one two so that is one so now you are now going to add this seven plus twelve plus six plus eight plus one and that will be now the answer to the total of that the uh, the sum of that one gives us the number of families rented uh, that rented four or more videos so let's try to let's try to add them okay 
So 7 plus 12 plus 6 plus 8 plus 1 is equal to gives us 34 families. Okay, 34 families. So that's the answer now. Let's check here. Let's check from our uh, options here with the uh, we get it right. How many families rented four or more videos per week? A, 31, B, 19, C, 18, D, 12, E, 6. Now, what do you think happens here? Okay, looks like from our working out, 34 families, uh, from the options, we don't have 34 as the option. So therefore, in this question number 18, it is cancelled like uh, no answer found from the option. Okay, the correct answer is 34, but then there is no 30, 34 in the given options. So in this case, you will either leave it blank in your answer sheet or, uh, yeah, you leave it blank or you can write down the answer 34. Okay, prove, prove to them that uh, you have worked it out and you know it. Okay, and I hope that you, it's clear to you now on how to uh, interpret the graph uh, so that you will be able to answer this, quest, this kind of uh, questions in the national examination. Okay, so this is Mr. Delicious, guys. Uh, we have this video for question number 17 and 18. And uh, please uh, subscribe my YouTube and please also tell the other grade tens if your brothers and sisters, okay, who are grade ten students and who are taking for the national exam, tell them to uh, go to my YouTube channel, Mr. Daily Shoes, the traveling uh, tutor and coach, and they can uh, subscribe as well and watch all my video tutorial. Okay, that's all for the uh, for this uh, video. Tata, bye for now.